Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back uh, to Nuggets at Noon. Today, I have with me my brother-in-law, and I'm in his shop here, uh, which is uh, connected to his business. Right. And um, anyway, he's got a unique hobby, and it's a hobby of restoring old vehicles. And he is standing in front of one that he has been working on that happens to be for my sister, Ginger. What, Greg, just tell me a little bit about what you do here and show me this vehicle and a little bit about it. Will you do that? Sure. Uh, you know, we, we take old cars and tear them down all the way to the bare frame and then put them back together. Uh, this is a 1966 uh, Chevy pickup. Okay. Uh, we've uh, taken it completely apart. We've rebuilt everything underneath and modernized everything underneath. Uh, we've put a modern engine in it. We painted it, and you know, next we'll be finishing up putting all new uh, wiring and electrical in it, and then doing the interior. All right, and and right behind me over here is actually the original. Is that correct? That's right. What... That's the original cab for the truck. Uh huh. So you just kind of uh, you just kind of uh, see it something that most of us don't see. I yeah. mean, we can't <laughs> see the beauty that could be right. From, from something old. And I see you got another one over here. Could right. you just show me that one, sir? So let's walk over. We're going to walk over to this other one here and uh, look at this other vehicle. This, you want to tell me what this one is? Sure. This is a 1979 Toyota Land Cruiser. Uh, again, we went all the way, re uh, uh, took it completely apart to the frame, uh, rebuilt the suspension on it. We actually put uh, a modern engine out of a Chevrolet pickup in it. Uh, with all the wiring and everything, redid all the wiring and uh, then did a new interior in it. Well, now, how long does it take you to do something like this? Uh, we've done them in as little as uh, a year, and this one ended up, because of a bunch of things, ended up being six or seven years. Oh, my goodness. Well, the, I think the thing that is interesting to me is the, the restoration process and how you you take something that used to be and you make it new again, don't right. you? You right. know, I'm just reminded of, uh, of the Bible and the scripture that says, uh, if any man be in Christ, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, I believe it is, if any man be in Christ, he becomes a new creation. All the old stuff's gone. It's right. a passed away. Everything becomes new. And also in Joel, I believe it's chapter 2, verse 25, it says, I will restore that which the canker worm has eaten. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's, it's really... Uh, you know, amazing how Greg can vision something. It takes time now. And sometimes in our own life, there might be a process of restoration, but God will restore if we will allow him. You know, I'm sure that there's a lot of um, decisions that have to be made, and there's a lot of pain that goes into <laughs> it, uh, into, into doing this. But uh, but as we, we have to allow God to mold us and make us. He uh, is the potter, we are the clay. Uh, and he creates us, he restores. And some of you perhaps have, maybe you've lost something in your life. You, you once had something. You once had the joy of salvation or the peace of God. I can tell you, if you will allow God to, to take his hand and touch you once again, then he can restore that which that canker worm, that which the rust has eaten away in your life. And so I encourage you, allow God to restore. Allow God to make new in your life again. Greg, you're doing a great job here. Thank you. And uh, I just uh, uh, hope uh, my sister enjoys riding in that thing. <laughs> God, so too. Yeah, God bless you. We'll look forward to seeing you on Monday. Bye-bye.